What's up guys, where have you been today? We are going to the San Francisco, no San Francisco, San Diego Zoo Safari, Safari Park, separate from the San Diego Zoo. I'm pumped and jacked, just like yesterday. If you didn't see yesterday's video, check it out and touring the San Diego Zoo. It'll be right here probably, or it'll be in the description below. Uh, we're here during, they just are reopening uh, California and yeah, so we're, we're checking out all the, the spots. I've never been to yesterday was the first time I was at San Diego Zoo Today is the first time I'm at San Diego Zoo Safari Park So if you've never been and you want a little bit of a tour and you want to know if it's worth it Stay tuned All right, so unlike yesterday, I'm remembering today to bring a bottle of water. Not that it matters because they give you free water anyways. Also, uh, mixing up the shoe game today. I probably gotta get a free, new pair of shoes because look at these things. They're brutal. Uh, parking here was $15. Free. There was no parking fees at the San Diego Zoo, but I guess when you're out here in the boondocks and I don't know as, I don't think as many people come here. They probably have to make up a little bit of revenue. That's fine. Disney, you pay like $35 a park, so it's not a huge deal. 15 bucks, it's a flesh wound. And if you have a big group, <clears throat> family, $15 is fine uh, to get in and park. Uh, all right, so I got my water, sunscreen, a little Arizona iced tea that I'm about to finish. We're going inside. We parked between 11 and 10. I'm by myself over there somewhere. Uh, and if you get lost, just follow this yellow balloon. It's huge. A little air balloon action. I saw it from like really far away and I was like, I guess that's probably it on the mountain. Uh, again, I'm using the Ghost City Pass for this week. I averaged out to about like $42 a day, which is not bad at all. I found a 10% off coupon using Honey. This is not sponsored, but I did use Honey. So shout out to Honey. Even though I, e I got emailed the same coupon when I went to their website. Uh, so yeah, if you didn't see yesterday's video about San Diego Zoo right here, this is a San Diego tour during COVID reopening. Um, I'm pretty pumped and Jack. Oh, here's that balloon again. Oh, the yellow balloon. All right, let's ride. The go pass is all you need. You don't even have to go through the ticket line. You just walk right, right through. So I just came in. I'm in the little aviary room between the, no one's coming. So I figured I'd stop here. This place is a lot quieter than the San Diego Zoo, which is great. Uh, I'm pretty pumped. We got the little map itch here. Always grab a map and a water. Uh, so let's check out the map and see uh, what we got going on at the safari park of San Diego Zoo. All right, so let's see what we got here. Just like yesterday, I said giraffes were probably gonna be here. There were no giraffes at the San Diego Zoo, so if your kids love giraffe or you love giraffes, you gotta make sure you go to Safari Park. Got a little, you know it's a big deal when the platypus makes it on the on the icon. Elephants again, gorillas. We got, hopefully we'll see a male lion today. A little cheetah action, rhinos, tigers. I think that's it, oh, the big, the big, the big ones, the milk, the milk if you will. If you saw yesterday's video, the milk. But uh, let's get to it. They have a cool play area, but I'm a grown man and I don't have kids and I don't want to be over there. I'm really tempted to get, they have some loaded cheese fries. Oh man. I'm trying to eat healthy, but I feel like the walk cancels out the cheese fries. I don't know, what are your rules on vacation and eating? I feel like the walk is gonna cancel it out, right? I'm not gonna have any alcohol today, so I think so. So the balloon is down. I wonder if you, if it's extra to go in it or you have to pay. I definitely want to check it out. Oh 
I need the safari, the cheetah safari to be named after me. Okay, so the lions were freaking dope. Honestly, like, that may have just been worth the ticket, the price alone. At the San Diego Zoo, you don't get that close to the lions. It's completely open here, look at this. Completely open, the lions roam. And did you see how big he was? That was definitely worth the price of mission. I'm gonna just talk to you looking down. Uh, I didn't know they have an actual, like, safari tour here. It's kind of like Disney, but hopefully better. I mean, I I'm sure there's, I don't know if you've ever been to the Safari at Disney World, but they used to have like a story behind it, and now they don't because it's more about the wildlife. And that's why we're here. Uh, but lion exhibit, 10 out of 10. If your kids love lions, you'd be lying to yourself if you didn't come here. Sorry, I had to do it. All right, let's check out the Safari, see how long the line is. I'm really craving <clears throat> some cheese fries or a burger. It's probably gonna happen, honestly. Like, it's gonna happen. The 12, 15 bucks, whatever it is, I'm gonna pay it, whatever. Okay, this is a long line. Look at this. 20 bucks extra, you can just skip the line. So I talked to one of the staff members here, cast members, team members, crew members. Hopefully they're called one of those. Uh, keep zookeepers, maybe. Uh, and his name is Alex. He said, I asked him about the capacity of the ride. So you can get 76 people on the tram. And the wait right now is about 30 minutes. And it's almost two o'clock, he said, the last tram leaves at 6.30 and the best time to come is 5.45 because the last trams only have like 20 people on them. That's great, that's what we're gonna do. So because of that, I'm gonna celebrate with either a chili cheese fries or a chili cheese burger, something like that. Uh, Cause we, all, we got all day boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, we're having a good time. This place is, I don't know if I can say it's worth $62, but the $42 price point I got plus $15 parking, we're, we're close, we're, we're close. I haven't, still haven't seen any of the big animals. Like, And he also said, <coughs> the platypus here in the San Diego Zoo is the only platypus outside of Australia. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go see the platypus in the United States. No wonder it was on that, that the, the map. I, I thought it was funny that it was a featured item, but featured animal, not item. So uh, yeah, my arm's getting tired, so let's go. Okay, so this is kind of cool. You can camp out at the zoo. They got the Roar and Snore campground. I didn't ask how much it is, but they have like a late night thing that's like 250 bucks for, <clears throat> I'm sorry. You can have like an all day kind of safari tent and that's $250. So I'm assuming this is pretty, pretty pricey. Hey, you're tripping your ears. Actually, not too bad. Okay, so I went and talked to Alex again, and they have a bunch of safaris here, which normally I'm really good at my research, but I've been slacking today because, you know, it happens. All right, so all these safaris are extra, but that tram that we're gonna take later goes around and does all, basically the outside of the safaris here at San Diego Safari Park, but we have all these ones, and I'll pull up the prices right now. You can see they have the wildlife safari, which is like more up and close, uh, balloon safari, which is $20, but it's 11 minutes, and when it's windy, it doesn't go, I don't want to lose my map. Uh, what else do we have? Behind the scenes safari tour, uh, car safari, cheetah safari, flight line safari, which is a zip line, and the roar and snore safari, which is the overnight thing. Now check this out, I'm in the overnight campground right now. So these are their campgrounds. How cool is that? You can sleep here. Now, one of the one of the things was two hundred fifty dollars. I don't remember which one it was. I I think it was like a private villa here, not a villa, but 
you know what I mean, like a private tent for your stay. So if that's 250 for the day, I'm guessing Roar and Snore is pretty expensive. But, I mean, if you have kids, or you just want like a romantic little kind of getaway and you can't go to Africa, I think this is the play. I'm gonna go take a lap over here and check out the views real quick. Let's just see the views of the Roar and Snore. I'm not actually, I can't really go in. I don't wanna go inside, I don't wanna get on someone's butt. We'll go over here. It's like outside of the Roaring Star area and uh, see what they're getting their money's worth for. I think that was the Roaring Star bathroom that I was just in. Let's see. Cute, they have little numbers. This is Cheetah One, the tents, and look at this view. I mean, look, there's a giraffe right there. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. Look, I seriously did not even notice there's a giraffe right there. Could you imagine like taking the kids and having a camp here or, you, or having like a cute date and you just wake up you're right there, you get on your little balcony. I don't want to slip. And you see a giraffe. Just hanging out in the rhinos. Look at, I, I can't wait to go on this tram. Look at these views. Okay, now I have to actually figure out what the price is for the overnight. Hello, giraffe. All right, let's get back. I, I, I'm gonna go eat, I'm starving. I want the whatever, something with cheese on it. Let's go get some cheese. Does that look like Simba up there? Disney. Let's just be careful. Let's just be careful. Hey, how are you doing, man? If I get the bacon cheeseburger, is there any way I could get like a small side of cheese for my fries? Okay, yeah, let's do that then. Bacon cheeseburger with a side of nacho cheese? Please. That'd be great. Thanks so much. I was debating between that and the cheese fries, but I just, I'm in the mood for some nacho cheese, so if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. I'm waiting for my food, I just realized. Fro oh, did it just change? It just changed. Yeah, frozen margaritas are like $15 here, and I was like, oh, that's kind of pricey, and then I realized in Cabo. At this hotel, I say that. <clears throat> there were 20 bucks. So I guess it's all about perspective. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, so $1.50 for this. Not terrible when you're craving cheese. A little bit of, I probably want a little more, but let's see what we got in here. Oh, buddy. As long as there's enough cheese for my fries. Oh my goodness, I have no regrets. Look at this, we got a little view action over there. Let's see, check the time, 3.01, 3 o'clock on the dot. We got plenty of time. I'm calling my mom to wish her happy birthday, but she's not answering. Okay, so I looked up how much it is to do the roar and snore. Snore and roar? Let me see. Roar and snore. It's, I don't know if you can see it. 149 per person. 149 and up, starting at. And that includes, that does not include admission. So, obviously it wouldn't include admission, but it's per person. So, 149 plus 62, it's what, 211? Uh, 211 per person. And then you have to, I mean, 15 bucks for parking is not. If you're going to do it, just do it. Uh, for a family of four, though, for one night, that's $844 plus 15, so $859. That's steep. For cute couples, like weekend maybe, two nights. Let's say you do a Friday, Saturday night. I wonder if you can have a mission. It doesn't matter. So say like tickets are or two days, I don't know, 120 up per person. Sorry, I'm eating while I'm doing this. 120 per person, that's 240. And then if you do two nights, let's say best case scenario, it's 149 a night. That's 300, basically $300 plus tax. I don't know if they have tax, I'm assuming they have tax. It's like 298 plus tax per person. So 600, 800. Eight hundred fifty bucks for two nights. It's pretty bad. Not pretty bad. It's pretty expensive. The per person thing is brutal. I'd rather just be like a flat rate, like four hundred bucks. But I'm sure I'm gonna do something right. Now the question is, would you do it? Would you camp here for four or five hundred dollars? Let me know in the comments. I don't think it's a little pricey. I'm so happy right now. I just killed that burger. It was your regular theme park burger, nothing special. Bacon, the man. It's so good. 
Yes. All right, we're gonna go walk and see the gorillas. Yesterday was an okay say. It was like the gorillas weren't very active, so maybe at the safari park we can see some great gorillas. I really say it's goals. See if this park is worth it. I mean, I know a lot of people go on vacation and they can't do everything. But uh, yesterday we did San Diego Park, San Diego Zoo, today we're in Safari Park. Price points are the same, depending on where you get them. But you gotta remember, $15, per, $15 for parking here. My thoughts, all I have to do is see the platypus now. I've seen every animal here, I think. I just walked by the tigers, they weren't doing much. I think there was only one I, I showed you. He was just in the back. But uh, <clears throat> I think if you have to do one park, unless your kids are obsessed with giraffes, I would do San Diego Zoo. However, here you got a lot closer to the lions. That's cool. Also, there's, this is a lot more walking. They have a lot more transit options at San Diego Zoo. They have the flyover thing and they have the trams around. I think I've walked already more <clears throat> today than I did all day. I think I'm over five miles in like four hours and I just had a lunch break. So, uh, but I'm a walker, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on, have you guys been to San Diego Park? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's a must go? No go, I think, I think so, I think. I think you should do it. I'm gonna go see the platypus and then I'm gonna find out. So the platypuses were a bus. They're like sleeping in the back and you can't see them. So I'm very sad, but <clears throat> we're gonna try to get to see them before I leave. We'll do the safari, come back here right when they, before they close. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can see them. Otherwise I have to go to Australia or come back. But I'll probably just go to Australia. I think my favorite part about San Diego Zoo Safari is there's so many beautiful quiet places to just relax for a little bit. You got these guys over here, the pelicans over there. You can just relax and it's kind of like, it's not a whole day park. You can do it in a few hours <clears throat> unless you're gonna do a bunch of the additional safaris. But you can honestly take your time too. You know, I've been here for five hours maybe, a little, a little over five hours. Uh, but I've, I've been taking my time. You know, I took lunch and I just sat down and relaxed a little bit. Uh, been called my mom because it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. The birds are wishing you her happy birthday as well. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I like this park. These birds like it too. Uh, it's five o'clock. I'm trying to go over to uh, Safari area and see if I can get on without waiting. And then I'm gonna take one more shot at the platypuses. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can see them before we leave. All right, now look at this line. No line. It's, uh, it's like 520. I came a little earlier than recommended, but it is absolutely empty. So we're gonna take advantage. Maybe I'll go on twice. Time for the safari. Let's go. Check this out. I just got off the safari. Oh, the lighting is terrible when I do that. Uh, it was it was good. It was good. I mean, you can't really see a lot of animals up close. I love that. The, this right here. Uh, it was definitely worth the wait. It's uh, 5.56. So the safari is about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, and now we are going to go try to see the platypus before we leave. Can we do it? Otherwise, we gotta go to Australia. Just kidding, we can just come back, but I can't come back. Uh, so let's hope, smash the like button if you think I can see the platypus, otherwise, here we go. Well, take two, the platypus was a failure. But overall, it was a great day. I think, I was here for six hours, I'm exhausted, I've walked like over seven miles. And I'll give a full review in the car. Headed back to the car. It's golden hour, baby. Balloon up? No. That's okay. What a day. What a day here at the San, San, why do I say? San Diego Zoo Safari Park. 
If I had to rate it out of 10, because there's no shows, it's probably like an eight. Shows that probably would have been great at 10. Uh, I'm exhausted. I've walked eight miles. I just checked my my uh, watch. Eight miles today, all at the park. Um, basically, I mean, I went to the gym this morning, but I didn't really do a lot at the gym as far as movement. <coughs> so eight hour eight. So I was here at 6:32. The park closes at seven. So I got like six solid hours in. I'm at my car. Um, the only disappointment, obviously. It's not disappointing, it's just like, it is what it is. Is the platypus apparently wore himself out. Can't do anything about it. But, when I come back, 100%. I think it's worth it. Let me know if you've been to uh, San Diego Zoo Safari Park and if you think it's worth it because I may be biased because I just love theme parks and I mean, it's a zoo. Uh, I love animals. Uh, my top animals today, if I had to rate them. Lions are out and about. If you want, if your kids love lions, I would definitely say, you gotta come here, you got to. You see them right really up close and personal. You saw the video footage. Uh, the cheetahs were, cheetahs always sleep everywhere you go. The safari was fine. Uh, I think the safari was a little lackluster compared to Disney's, but it is what it is. This place is awesome. San Diego Zoo, overall a win, 100%. I can't even, can't even complain at all. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed day two of the San Diego vlog. We've done San Diego Zoo, San, San Diego Zoo Park. I said San Diego this time. Tomorrow, I should be going to SeaWorld. I gotta make a reservation, because COVID, they're doing reservations. I guess they used to do about the zoos, but they lifted them. So tomorrow is SeaWorld. And I saw that they do fireworks, and I love fireworks. And I was at my friend's house last night, watching uh, the basketball game. So I'm pumped, and I'll show you guys. Uh, how they're doing during COVID. So overall, San Diego Zoo, San Diego Zoo, uh, Safari Park, I said it right twice in a row. During COVID, worth it 100%. Thanks for watching. Always remember, chase fun, chase adventure, and never stop chasing your dreams. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Please, maybe. We're at 58 right now. I love 58, but my goal is it's June 29th. If we can get to 100 by July 29th, it's a little wins, right? Little wins. All right, I'll see you guys, bye.